All right, I'm not gonna lie guys. I've been sitting here for some time thinking about how I'm actually gonna record this video But by the title of this video, you guys are probably already aware of what this video is going to be about uh, For the past couple of weeks one of the most common type of comments if you will that I've gotten is a question asking me Where are my videos and you guys might be wondering like what, what, what are they talking about? The videos right here on the channel. Well, they're not really talking about the videos that I'm uploading now because you know I'm 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 back to uploading on Roblox. And I'll explain to you guys why that happened. I never really gave an explanation. I kind of just went back to it and it happened. Right. But um they're talking people when they ask like where are your videos, Vex? They're talking about my other anime gaming walkthrough and gameplay videos that had nothing to do with Roblox. And unfortunately, guys, those videos have been deleted. They haven't been unlisted. They haven't been prioritized. They literally have been deleted. So they're gone. But before you go on a, on a little, oh my God, God rage spree in the comments, uh, you, you know, we have a new channel. Okay. So it's called the uh, OG Vex Anime Games Channel. You can go check it out. I only want you guys to subscribe if you guys are actually going to watch the videos. So if you guys are thinking about going there to subscribe to show support, don't do that. <laughs> only subscribe if you're genuinely looking forward to that type of content. Now, with that being said, um, this channel, obviously, at this rate, or at this point, is only going to be Roblox. And um, I'll explain a little bit about what has happened and the decisions that I've made and, you know, my growth as an individual over these past couple of months uh, specifically. I felt like I've, I've done a lot of growth in the past couple of months, most notably in the past two months. Like, it's it's been pretty real, you know? So one of the things I'm notorious for or have been, uh, unfortunately, notorious for is um, being wishy-washy with my decisions, right? I would say that I would do one thing and then go back on it, and then do another, and then go back on it. And um, it took me a really, really, really long time to realize that the reason why that was so is because I really wasn't making decisions for myself. So I try to involve you guys in a lot of what I do. I try to communicate and just be there with you guys so that you feel like we have like a, a solid community here, and I'm not out of reach how it is. Uh, or, or in comparison to how it is with a lot of, or not in comparison, but in contrast uh, to how it is with a lot of other YouTubers where, you know, there's not really any reciprocity there. Like, you know, nothing's reciprocated. It's like they make the video, they upload, that's it. There's no interaction, right? So on my channel, I wanted that to be a little bit different. I did things a little bit differently. But the thing is that by way of that, ultimately, I was doing decisions or making decisions that I didn't want to make myself. I was only doing them because you guys voted. Oh, yeah. You know, you want me to do this and that. Now, the thing is, again, this is another thing that I've noticed is that throughout the years, my demographic has changed to where predominantly we have a younger demographic here on the channel. Um, and it's most evident in the way that you guys express yourself in comments and things of that nature. Uh, a lot of you guys are, are very toxic nowadays. Um, you guys like to insult me a lot uh, for my intelligence, which is just mind boggling to me. Um, and that's like one of the clearest indicators of a younger demographic, uh, because kids, especially in the age group that Roblox appeals to, they like to think that they're better than you. They're smarter than you. They know more than you. They're better at the game that you play than you. You know what I mean? Like that's typical like checklist, check, 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 check material for like, is this kid a kid <laughs> or is the person behind the monitor young? Like, yes, yes and yes. Right. So, yeah, I was literally letting like children dictate my content and my decisions. And I was talking to you guys about stuff that. You guys would never even understand. I know it's about social media. I know I'm not a super like open person because I keep my life private. But the things that I talk about, you guys, you wouldn't understand. You're too young to understand. You don't know about this. And beyond the age group, um, this applies to everybody. I used to talk to people and have you guys pitch in on decisions that would affect my career, this channel and things of that nature when you're not even YouTubers. Y'all don't even do this. So, and even if you upload videos, it, it, I'm not trying to say it in a bad way, but there's a difference between you guys doing YouTube and having a thousand, 10,000, 20,000 subscribers and, 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 and me, myself, where I'm at now, like I, yes, my viewership has been low, but I've made over a million dollars doing what I do. I'm not, I'm not saying I'm a millionaire. Okay. But I've made over a million dollars doing what I do. So 
it's like, you know, this is another thing that I realized about myself to where like, and I, I was also contemplating quitting, um, a couple of months ago because I was thinking like, man, this is not for me. Like, I, you know, with social media, you have to have like an extroverted, like type of like personality. I don't have that. You guys don't see me collaborating with nobody going out and doing whatever the case is. I'm super introverted. I'm not afraid to speak to anybody, you know what I'm saying? Um, but I just, I generally, it's not that I'm afraid to do anything that extroverts do. I just don't feel like doing that. I just feel like staying home and just being by myself. I don't feel like socializing with people. I just leave me alone. Let me do what I need to do and be about my business, right? So basically, the message that I'm trying to convey to you guys is, is in two parts. One, and this is arguably the most important one, is that the decisions that were made um, were coming from you guys and not necessarily me as a creator like i have to do what i want to do um and there's a difference between doing what you want to do when it's influenced by others and that's what prompted me i i never realized this until recently that's what prompted me to be super wishy-washy because if you know me in real life if anybody knows me in real life i i do brother i give results okay I do work. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's, it's a very, that's also another thing too that people have to understand what you see on social media is one thing. What I am in real life is another. I'm not saying that I'm putting on a front and this is a fake personality, but guys, you have to understand that when you, people make videos, there are certain things that have to be accentuated or in a way or accented in a way that is entertaining, right? Because imagine how you do your thing, like how you play your games. You know what I mean? Um, like most people are not going to find that enjoyable. You have to do certain things. You know what I'm trying to tell you? But yeah, basically I was trying to be somebody else and make decisions that I typically really wouldn't make if it wasn't under the guise of influence from what I thought would be a good indicator, which is my community. But ultimately that comes to be that it is not right because most of you guys are young and you guys don't even know what you guys want. <laughs> And yet you're trying to tell me what you want me to do. And that's not so it, it, it was it's a mess, right? It's a mess. It's com it's going to be completely different from now on. But second, and this uh, this, uh, this excuse me, ties in also with you guys possibly not even knowing what you guys even want and telling me what to do. But um, like I said, I'm not here to toot my own horn, put myself on a pedestal. But I told you guys how much I've made off of like this channel or, or off of just me doing this stuff on social media. Right. Um. So I didn't say that to flex. I said that to say and to extrapolate a little bit more and emphasize that, you know how people say there's levels to this? Basically, there's levels to this. You know what I mean? I was letting people dictate what I would do when they haven't stepped a foot into my territory, into my realm. Like for the decisions that I was making, I should have been talking to other people that have made over a million dollars doing this, not people that are just now getting to this or have been doing this, but aren't successful like that. That is super improper and not just it's not the way to go about it at all. And you'll find yourself not being successful because of that. If you do happen to do it. I mean, look, I'll leave you off of this so that maybe this paints the picture a little bit clearer for you guys. Um, it's a little bit, a little bit of a dark example, but I realized that on social media, you're very easily replaceable. So let's say for example, if I disappear, right? Uh, yes. You know, some people might be affected for a day or two, whatever the case is, but they'll just find somebody else to replace me and go watch, right? And death is like that in real life too, unfortunately, right? Some people can't overcome certain people's deaths, but for most people, such, such and such passes away and then they move on to whatever. Like days go by, years go by, life continues. So it's very unfortunate. And what am I trying to paint basically with that example? I'm trying to say that with the changes in the content switch up, right? Like when I said I wasn't going to do Roblox anymore and then I had to come back, people were telling me to stay doing the non Roblox stuff, even though they saw that things weren't going well for me. Like I know best because I'm in the cockpit, like I'm driving. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm the one conducting this vehicle, my brother. So I'm seeing everything like going super bad. And yet people are telling me, oh, no, you should stick with it. You should blah, blah, blah. And this is the thing is like, okay. And then tomorrow when everything fails and the channel is no longer relevant, which was very close to not being relevant, even though right now we're struggling still, but it's, it's working its way up, you know, like in, in that position, what then? 
y'all not going to go come over here and support me and my expenditures and my expenses and my responsibilities. Y'all not going to do that. Y'all just going to sit there and talk and type away. So this is what I mean about putting your life in control of other people in the internet, which yes, they're a part of your community, but they really don't know. And there's no validity to what they say at all. And again, that's taking me so long to realize, but hopefully, you know, it doesn't take you guys that long for some of you that do this as content creators as well. Uh, use me as an example, just do what you want to do because at the end of the day, and this is something my dad has always told me, and this is like really like starting to resonate with me. But when you take and make your own decisions, you have no one to blame if you like fall short of those decisions or expectations that you might set thereafter, but yourself, like there's literally nobody to blame, but yourself, you made the decision, you set your expectations, nobody else forced you to do anything. So, but yeah, I mean, I feel like this is going to get into a really like <laughs> crazy tangent and it's not really going to serve the purpose of the original idea I had behind the video, but I just thought I'd explain that to you guys. Um, I'm not going to go out here and give you guys any promises about the new channel. But hey, I've been consistent for the past like two months now on uh, on this channel and on the other Roblox channel that I have and some other stuff that I'm doing behind the scenes. So uh, yeah, just go check out the new channel. Subscribe there. Um, I'm going to be playing some games that I've really been looking forward to when they release in a couple of days. So just stay tuned for that. And uh, I don't know if I said this earlier, but. I should have a video either today or tomorrow, the latest. And the last thing I will say, uh, something to look forward to with how my mind is and, you know, my goals and aspirations and stuff like that. Um, there is another channel. Uh, there are two channels, but I know one for sure that I'm going to be making um, later on in this year. And that's like one of the first channels that I'm going to announce publicly on here that isn't like gaming or anime. And I'm really looking forward to that because it's something that I thoroughly enjoy and it, it has to do with me, but it's not even like the focal point isn't even me. It's, it's me because I'm the personality, right? But I mean, you guys will see. So if you guys are looking for like in real life stuff, that will be that. Um, and also one last thing that I will say, um, now that I'm talking about in real life stuff, the stuff with the camera, um, the camera doesn't really matter. I've done a lot of tests and it appears that at least for my channel uh whether the camera is here or not it doesn't really matter so that's why you'll see some videos will have it some videos won't most videos won't i'm not gonna lie to you most videos like gaming i don't think needs a camera anyways but i don't have a problem using a camera anymore before i used to have an issue with like being on on a, on a camera i don't have a problem with it um the only deterrent as to why I'm not going to do it predominantly on the gaming videos beyond the fact that it doesn't really matter, at least according to my demographic and data, is that I don't I don't like again. And this ties in with me being kind of like introverted, <laughs> but I don't like uh, people recognizing me. I don't I don't ever want to feel that I'm out with my family. and I have to be careful of my surroundings because people are going to know who I am. I, I don't like that at all. So these type of videos, for example, that I'm making right now, like a very small number of you guys will see it. Most people won't see it. So I don't really care to show my face and talk to you guys about it. And yeah, the new channel that I told you guys I'm going to make later in the year that I'm super excited for. That's why I'm so excited for it, because it has to do with me, but it doesn't have to do with me and uh, I it's, it's cool it's cool it's cool all right so but anyways I'm gonna wrap this up here hopefully that explains everything to you guys but uh yeah for the people that um you know didn't like Roblox and wanted me to do like you know the regular anime gaming stuff that I did uh your boy's back your boy's back